If you're stuck in the endless loop of ML tutorials, but still can't build real projects, you're not alone. Most people never break out of this cycle. Millions of people start and enroll in ML courses every year, but only a handful actually land a job. But if you avoid these four mistakes, you can go from stuck in tutorials to deploying real world models faster than you think. For anyone new, my name is Dev, and a few years ago, I made a drastic switch from the medical field to computer science. Science. Ended up landing roles at companies like Goldman Sachs and Amazon, and now my goal is to help you get there faster than I did. With that said, let's get into mistake number one. This is probably the worst one on the list, so make sure to avoid it. It's not doing deep work. The definition of deep work is just a stretch of a few hours when you focus really intensely on one task. That might be going through a course, coding up a new project, reading an ML paper. These are all deep work tasks. This is different than shallow work tasks like responding to emails or applying to jobs. Shallow work tasks don't require that much brain power and you can do them at any time of day. But here's the catch. If you get distracted by shallow tasks like replying to emails or texting people back when you're in the middle of deep work, it changes your brain's frequency and your focus is effectively ruined. That means you need to be ruthless with your deep work time. Do not disturb your devices and say no to all distractions. Stop studying in public places if you find it distracting. This might mean saying no to group study sessions or group co-working sessions if it's not optimizing your deep work. It does suck having to say no to some of these things, but it will pay off. Prioritizing deep work has helped me work less hours and have time for my fitness and spending time with my girlfriend. When you're on the ML grind, having a life is still 100% possible. You just need to prioritize deep work. All right, the second mistake is not knowing Git. If you're unfamiliar with Git, it's essentially a version control software used to track different versions of a code base. If you're just getting into machine learning, this probably isn't going to feel as important, but it's going to become crazy important when you land your first internship or full-time position. In fact, not knowing Git ahead of time is seriously going to hurt you. So even if you're still in the early stages, make sure to learn Git and use it for your projects. When you land your first machine learning position, there's going to be a ton of other stuff that you're going to have to learn really fast, so it helps to make your life easier by at least knowing Git ahead of time. Data scientists are notoriously known for just emailing their code instead of using Git, so don't reinforce that stereotype. Third mistake is jumping from course to course. Don't get me wrong, courses can be a great way to learn a ton of knowledge in a structured way, but you don't want to keep jumping from course to course. There's tons of great free courses out there, paid courses out there. The important thing is that you stick to one and complete it. Imagine if you changed your college major every year, or if you changed workout plans every week. How are you supposed to make any progress like that? The actual course you choose isn't as important as picking one and sticking to it. All right, the fourth and final mistake is is ignoring the research. It's not just for PhDs. Engineers can be expected to be familiar with the research as well. During my internships at Amazon, my team actually had me read a couple of papers that were relevant to our work. Bonus points if you can get some research experience. This will 100% stand out when you're applying to any kind of machine learning role. If you're still in college, try to get some research experience. It will pay off. I promise that if you email all the professors at your university, University, at least one will give you a chance. Just make sure you're familiar with the fundamentals of machine learning first. And if you're not in college anymore, don't worry. There's another way that you can show that you have experience with research, or at least some exposure to it. It's a project where you implement a research paper from scratch. This shows that you're able to understand a paper and translate the ideas into code. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that this is the single most important project that everyone should work up to implementing. Tons of people can import LLM APIs, but not many can read the paper attention is all you need and code up a transformer. If you're just starting out, don't worry about this yet, but keep it in mind as a good long-term goal. All right, now that you know the mistakes to avoid, check out my video on the top two AI projects to build. You've got to build those if you want to succeed this year. And remember, don't be a TensorFlow Timmy.